we are going to do an old school, kind of old school because we haven't done one in a while, Code With Me video using Python, computer vision, and here's the kicker. Okay, now I just feel like I sound old by saying that, but here's, here's the cool part we're going to be doing. We're going to be using AI to help build this. And the reason I'm doing this is two reasons. One, if you're not a developer or you are a developer, but say if you're not and you have an idea, a business idea you want to build, you can still do it. I meet with so many people who maybe aren't super technically savvy, but they have these great app ideas or great business ideas that they need a prototype to start raising money or even getting people interested in. And then what they do is they go, okay, everyone says it's so easy to code with AI, let me try it out. They start the process only to realize that if you have no technical background, no knowledge at all, about coding, coding with AI is still really hard. It's hard to get the programming running. It's hard to deploy the app. It's hard to debug. And that is what we are going to cover today. So if you are someone who is a developer, this is still great because AI isn't going anywhere. It's continuing to evolve and advance and learning to work with this tool will help set you apart. So coder, non-coder, we're gonna be coders together today. Today, what we are building is this really cool computer vision project. I'm pretty obsessed right now with uh, using computer vision and Python for the reason that I find it makes really interesting projects that I can visually see what's happening, which is really cool. And there's a lot of fun packages to tinker around with. So what you're gonna do here, let me share my screen. Start while I'm starting my screen recording, just as a side note, if you're wondering, where are you, Tiff? You look like you're in a hotel room, you have a suitcase, what is going on? I am in Calgary, I'm going to Banff for my sister's wedding. Banff is stunning, by the way, if you've never been, I you gotta come to Banff, it's beautiful. And it's the winter right now, so it's the snow on the mountains. It's just, it's a magical place. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna be headed to Banff, heading to Banff from Calgary tomorrow. Calgary is only about two hours away from Banff, I think. Yeah, it's about two hours. I never drive, but I'm a good passenger. Anyways, so that is what I'm here doing in, in Calgary and Banff. All right, back to the project. Let me share my screen. Okay, as you can see, I have Cursor AI up. Now, if you don't have a membership with Cursor AI or an account, just create a free tier. It's really easy to do. Pause this video there and then come back. Once you have that in Cursor AI, all I have done is opened up an empty folder or created an empty folder. In this case, I called it coffee underscore cup underscore CV. Very simple. Now, what we're gonna do, as I mentioned, we are using Python for this project. So we are going to create a new file. We're gonna call it main.py, that's the extension for Python. And then what we are going to start doing is start coding. So we have an empty file here, as you can see. Now, one thing about Cursor AI, by the way, this is not sponsored by Cursor AI, but they are the, I love them. I'm such a fan of them and I just, it's made developing and putting ideas I have come to real life so much easier. So it's, it's exciting. And I was a VS Code person for, eight plus years, so it's, it's a big change. So what we're gonna do is Command L, and what that will do is this will open up uh, a chat. I am on a Mac, by the way, just for anyone who's following along. Uh, Windows should be the same, anything else should be the same as well, but just so you are aware. Okay, so now we have this chat opened up. We are going to describe, just like you would to chat GPT or anything else, what you want to build. So in this case, Let's be very specific. I want you to code in Python, say the language you want it to code in, although we would know by the extension. A computer, computer vision app that uses OpenCV. OpenCV is a really amazing library that comes, that you can use with Python, it doesn't come with Python, but you can use with Python and it is a really great way to kind of get into computer vision and I don't know, I've built so many cool computer vision apps from uh, selecting different sunglasses to hairstyles, the list goes on, it's really fun. So that uses OpenCV to detect when I am drinking a cup of coffee. Uh, tell me how many liters of water I need to drink to help me rehydrate. Okay, here's the fun part. This is gonna get a little tricky, but I really wanna do it. I want. I have this idea in my head where it will detect what number of coffee cup I am on by me putting up my fingers. So for example, it will see that I'm putting up two fingers and by that, it will know I'm on my second cup. So let's see. I want the program to know what cup of coffee I am on 
by recognizing hand symbols. I will put up one finger for one cup, two fingers for two cups, etc. Okay, enter, let's go. So what it will do now is obviously it will create a bunch of amazing code, which I'm not gonna do in this video, but make sure, especially if you are learning how to code, to go through each line of code, break it, comment it out, so you really understand what's going on. Now, we can go apply. There is something we need to do. We can't just run this. I'm gonna show you how to run it. And then let's go accept. Now you can see here, there are some packages we have to install. So just gonna wanna take a little quick look at this code. Calculate water needed. Count fingers, update copy count with glue. Okay. This. I don't know. See, I think it's just, I don't think it's detecting a coffee cup in this one, but let's run it. So first what we need to do is, now you see that there is this red squiggly line on import because we don't have some of these packages installed. And what you do now is you go, how do I install? Actually, you know what, sorry. Before we do that, what I like to do is I like to run virtual environments in my Python projects. So it's with a virtual environment, you're able to install different packages, et cetera. And it stays within that environment, within that folder, if you will. So it's not everywhere throughout your computer that you're installing these packages, such as, uh, OpenCV or CV2 or MediaPipe. And that's really helpful if you're like me and uh, trying to save some space. So let's now go, how do I run a virtual environment on Mac? Put the computer you're on if it's not on Mac. And I obviously know how to create a virtual environment, but I'm just sharing you with you every single step because I feel like a lot of times people miss these small steps that in turn, beginners or people who are learning to code with AI for the first time, they haven't done. So let's go into our terminal at the top here, new terminal. And then we're gonna go back to this side here. Okay, we're in our project. Let's go here, Python 3, create an environment. Yes, I want to create the environment. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna activate the virtual environment. Perfect, now you will know your virtual environment is activated when it says here, my env, uh, as simple as that. So now let's go ahead and go, I need to install CV2, media, pipe, and numpy. what I'm going to do. We're gonna let these packages install. Now, at this point, if you are not familiar with these packages, make sure to do your research, make sure you're not installing a really weird package. I am familiar with these packages, so I know they're okay to install on my computer. Uh, but that's something very important to keep in mind as well. I'm very curious if you enjoy these videos going through building with AI. I mean, I just, I always love tinkering. I make short form content tinkering with AI because it's, it's fun, you still get your hands in the weeds as far as the code goes, but not so deep that I'm crying constantly <laughs> or, you know what I mean? Like just scratching my head or banging my head against a wall because I don't have the help of AI, which is important. And I've been there for eight years, so I feel like now I'm at a point where I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna enjoy this, have fun with it and code with AI. And even if you are a developer for many, many years, I think it's fun or it's important to still have fun with code and this is a really good way to do so. Okay, this is taking a while. We're gonna pause video and just speed it up from here. Okay, we finally installed these packages. <laughs> they took a minute. Now let's go right click on here, right click on the screen, run Python, run Python in terminal. You have no idea what's gonna happen. It's our first time running it together. So we will see. Oh, you know what? For some reason I can't screen record and okay, let me, Stop screen recording for a sec here. And one sec, oh my goodness, one sec here, CV. And then I'm gonna show you what I see instead. Okay, so I'm gonna do like this. You can see here when you run it, this is what you will see, a window will pop open. 
and it will say in the corner here, coffee cups, one, that is, oh, no, zero, water needed, oh, no. So something, it's detecting something that's a bit sense. Oh, it's my fingers. Okay, so let's try. Let's see. One. Now let's do three. Oh, that's three fingers. Come on. Three. Yeah, you did three. Let me try and see if I can screen record while it's already started. So you don't have to look from this viewpoint. Thanks, we did it. Okay, one sec here. Let's try this again. Okay, so we're back, recording. Uh, let's do, see if it will update, come on, one. So cool! So I recently did something like this where I was uh, getting it to teach me sign language. So this will do, instead of teaching me sign language, I just put up how many fingers I want, identify the fingers, let's do five. This is five fingers. not perfect we got we got some work to do and it will essentially tell you how much water you need so there are so many things we can do to evolve this project how I envisioned it which is not currently happening but I envisioned it that it wouldn't start this program or it wouldn't detect like coffee cups or water needed until it saw a coffee cup so that could be stage two we do stage three we could do is something where what could be stage three identify coffee cup do finger have the fingers for the number of cups you've drank and then maybe, I don't know, give some tips about it. But you see how easy that was? I'm gonna stop this here. Um, and this was literally, video three CV, this was literally over how long? Eight minutes we did this. We literally built an entire computer vision project using Python because of AI. AI did it. When I say we, AI did it, but we helped it do it. It couldn't do it without us prompting it at this point. Anyways, I don't think. But it's really interesting, it's really exciting. I am not trying to encourage you to not learn how to code or not learn the basics. That's actually the opposite of what I'm doing. I'm trying to say, even if you are someone who doesn't come from a computer science background or a technical background, but wants to build something, you can now do it. And even if you are a developer, start using AI to build. Understand the fundamentals, understand what you are doing, and then build these really fun projects like this. Get creative, things such as detecting coffee and how much water you should drink in turn, or uh, the other one I was mentioning, putting on different sunglasses to see what style works best for you. The sky is your limit, honestly. Oh, I really hope this video helped you not only get excited about coding with AI, but also to show you the basics, how to set up a virtual environment or prompt AI to help you set up a virtual environment, how to install some packages and really get started no matter where you are at in your coding journey. All right. That is it for me for today. Speaking of coffee, I feel like I need to go get a coffee and I haven't had enough water. So I know if I held up my hand for how much coffees I've actually had, it would not be good. All right, thank you all. I hope you enjoyed this kind of retro old school video. I say that because we haven't done a code with me in a while. Let me know if you wanna see more and okay, I'll see you all soon. Subscribe, leave in the comments other video topics you want me to cover. I'll see you soon.